A brand new year, second day of January 2017. We've all got New Year's resolutions, right? And one of those at the top of the list generally is weight loss. Well, joining us this morning is Dr. Charles Brittenall. And Dr. Brittenall, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Jimmy Dale. Good to have you with us. Happy, Happy new, new Year. Happy New Year to you. And, uh, you know, our, you know, we want to do better, honestly. We don't like ourselves with the tight fits of the clothing for Christmas. And, and a lot of things enter into that this morning. Let's talk about this morning uh, weight loss and also allergies, and they can go hand in hand. Well, um, we're concerned about your quality of your sleep. Uh, if you can sleep well, you wake up and feel better, then you can get out there and exercise a little bit, do something for your waistline. So it is kind of a blended topic. Uh, yes, uh, we do weight loss at our clinic, but uh, we like to take care of your allergies, your, your sore throat, your upper respiratory infection, get you feeling better so that you, those New Year's resolutions become more dedicated. Mm -hmm. Now, where do you have locations? We have a location here in Sylacauga on Brown Avenue, and we're also located in Anniston, right across from Stringfellow Hospital. Well, it sounds good. It sounds noble to, to get in better shape and lose weight in 2017, but it's not quite that simple, is it? It's not that simple. Uh, it, um, a lot of people experience those picket fence sort of uh, weight loss, weight gain, weight loss, weight gain experiences over their lifetime. Uh, we hope to uh, improve the quality of their sleep, uh, make their sinuses work better, and hopefully uh, help them reach their weight loss goals. Does allergies affect a particular group of people more than others? Well, if you're born with uh, uh, irritable uh, stomach, if, you're, uh, if your mother remembers that you had colic as an infant, you're probably susceptible for more allergies and hay fever. If your parents had asthma or, or uh, dermatitis or um, itchy skin, uh, allergies and hay fever, you're probably going to have it too. So it's a genetic thing, but it can be made better. Uh, and let me just add one other thing before you ask that next question. This is the time of the year to do that. Because if you can start helping somebody's sinus allergy and hay fever problem now in January, by the time the pollen gets to be thick in the air, you'll already have some inborn immunity that you're producing yourself on board to help you have a, a more pleasant spring, more pleasant summer, where you can get out there and jog or lift weights or exercise and do some things for yourself. You know, we all live out of our car. And, and we, we just have no hours f at all for ourselves. If we continue that life, you're not going to have those good, strong ligaments and tendons and muscles as the years go by. So you're going to be more susceptible to knee surgery or hip surgery for those fractures or for arthritic problems. So if we can start now getting you to sleep better, solve some of these immune problem uh, situations better, and get some of that weight off, then your longevity is going to be better. How do we get better? Well, you got to start. Do we start? We, you got to start somewhere. Uh, let us examine your sinuses, see how you're doing. Particularly if you're having sinus headache and cough and cold right now, see if we can solve that. That's a, an insurance-based office visit. Now, if we go to um, weight loss. Uh, you got to remember that's that's not an insurance covered thing. That's that's out of pocket. So if you need to get to know us and you haven't used us before and you've got sinus allergy or cold problems, come in. Let us examine you. Get uh, uh, get you started on the proper medication, and then you might want to talk to some of our weight loss staff while you're there and get some information. Dr. Charles Brittenall, our guest this morning, and whether it's uh, allergies or weight loss or both, we can help you at Dr. Brittenall's office. You can call for an appointment, 256-249-0358. That's 256-249-0358. Let's talk about allergies this morning. Uh, are there different type of allergies? Well, in the springtime, uh, tree and grass appear to be, uh, in, in this part of the country, more of a problem. In the summer, long and short ragweed become a problem. It starts in bloom in mid-June and continues through 
uh, mid-October, depending on how much rainfall and how soon the, um, the cold snap comes in. When you close your home for fall and winter, turn this heating system on, make sure you change those filters. And I would do it every 30, every 45 days. Change those filters because when you close down your home for fall and winter, house dust, house mites, maybe mold in your basement or in your attic is going to go through that circulatory system and they're going to cause you problems. So it seems to be a seasonal thing. But when your allergy tested, the nurses will test you for all of those seasons and for all of those items. So that when you're started on an allergy mix, we're trying to boost your immune system for all seasons of the year. Um, it's, it's, it, it improves your immunoglobulin, a big word. That, that means your, your immune system um, helps you feel better. And we found that people that are on allergy care, if they need it, have fewer colds, fewer upper respiratory infections, fewer days uh, off from work because of infection or uh, irritation of their sinuses. Have, have, you, have you heard this before? Uh, doc, I don't know what it is. A cold, sinuses, uh, uh, allergies. What's the difference in the three? Oh, now, that, that's tough now. Uh, Yes, we often get asked the question, is it cold or is it allergy? And I say, yes. <laughs> because sometimes it's, it's hard to decipher between the two if you haven't had the testing or hadn't had the evaluation. Um, sometimes a sinus x-ray will help us delineate the, the two. Uh, thickening of the uh, uh, tissues inside the sinuses or large polyps or growths. Uh, an examination. Uh, a, a general evaluation in office can usually answer most of those questions. Uh, is there age groups that are more susceptible than others? Well, as far as age groups, uh, children and young adults usually respond greatly more effectively to treatment than people of my age whose immune system is already a little aged. Uh, it doesn't mean you won't respond. And it someone in their middle and late, late life do have uh, immunoglobulins, an immune system that, that will help them, and they will improve at the, age, at the edges with uh, uh, immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you that, that uh, without this uh, treatment, I just don't feel like getting out and doing things. I don't feel like getting out and walking. I don't feel like uh, my usual activities. <clears throat> And along that line, for people who tend to be in a car all day long, just as a, a small little tip, uh, people who tend to be in a car all day long, as a suggestion from uh, uh, Mayo Clinic, we, we try to, for our weight loss patients, use a lot of the, uh, the advice that Mayo Clinic has, has given us in their uh, basic texts regarding uh, uh, weight loss. Try to avoid going through those takeout windows. Try to avoid going to those uh, uh, quick service uh, uh, meal places. If you'll take with you some of the items that you care to eat during the day, like nuts, uh, cashews, or almonds. Take with you uh, 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 probably some yogurt uh, in a little freezer container. Take with you some of the items that you might like to eat as snacks, grapes. Um, so that you're not as tempted to pull off the highway, go through that takeout window. Mm -hmm. Try to stay away from salt. Salt is a holds on to body water, keeps the weight level high, and try to stay away from soft drinks. Um, those, those few little things might get people uh, started in their thinking process. I'm not sure of the, the question you started me off uh, on. Let, but let me, let me, let me uh, get back to one other question uh, that I had about uh, allergies. Uh, what are some of the telltale signs uh, that affect our sleep that has to do with allergies? Not everybody presents the same way. Um, uh, it's not a cookie-cutter approach to the treatment of people with allergy. However... If that individual snores, makes a lot of noise while they're asleep, then their oxygen level to their brain and to the heart muscle is reduced. An individual who has obstructive sleep apnea, 
That means <coughs> that sort of noise while they're asleep. That means their heart muscle isn't getting the amount of oxygen it needs. The brain is not getting the amount of oxygen it needs for restful sleep. They cross as a bear during the day. They don't have the energy to make it their full day. They're not as, as personable as they would like to be. And they have, if they absolutely have documented obstructive sleep apnea, they have a 55 times greater chance of developing stroke or heart attack in their sleep. It usually occurs during the night. And that's just too big of a price to pay for not solving a problem that is solvable. Well, the first thing probably we need to do is make an appointment with you and get it checked out. Come on in. Allow us to see you. Uh, locations uh, here in Sylacauga and in Anniston as well. Yes, sir. 256-249-0358. Dr. Charles Brittenall, our guest. A couple of more minutes with the doctor this morning. Uh, we, we, you know, we talk about those uh, well-meaning New Year's resolutions, and all of us want to look better and feel better. Uh, and, and there's a price to pay. I, I kind of chuckled a little bit when you were talking about those grapes and almonds and things like that. Well, well my vehicle has got wrapping papers from fast food joints. That's not the way to go, huh? <laughs> well, you, you sure you don't have mice there, too? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, and, well, yes, sir. The um, um, starch is an enemy in the same way salt is an enemy. And if your viewers are not acquainted with the word starch, starch is a, a, medical, a, a, a biochemical term for many sugars packed together in a long chain. So it's a sophisticated type of sugar. Both sugar and uh, uh, salt hold on to body water. Over 94% of your body is water. So during the, the weight loss period, we're actually reducing the amount of body water that your body and your heart has to pump. We want to reduce the amount of work that that heart muscle has to do. So being overweight and out of shape can affect your heart. Oh, certainly. And those tendons and ligaments around your, your, your hips and in your knees, are they going to finally pay the price? Maybe you're a person who has low back problems and you just can't get any better. Well, you gotta do something, and, and, and making that waistline come in a little bit, losing a little bit of weight. Maybe you're the person who's snoring. Well, Daddy has a real thick neck. I don't know why he should be snoring. He's got a large neck. Well, as the neck gets larger with time and with weight loss going outward, it also goes inward and encroaches on the airway. So that's gonna restrict oxygen from getting to that heart muscle while you sleep. I know I'm bouncing around from topic to topic, but all of these are important points. We are all looking for a longer life, more healthy life, fewer surgeries, just basic health. You want to enjoy your life. You don't want to spend the last part of your life in a nursing home as because of stroke. Mm. Uh, again, this is not a quick fix. This is a program. This, this is a, a, a series uh, of treatments that's available. And uh, those days of, uh, you see those quick fix weight loss products on television and, and social media, uh, that's not necessarily the right way to go. Well, no, it's not. But it doesn't mean that they're all bad. Mm -hmm. Some of these programs that are advertised on TV where you call in and get your meal sent to you. If you've got a lot of money and can afford to have that, uh, you, don't, you don't end up with the person there to motivate you through this, but maybe you're not the person who needs that. Uh, when they say you're gonna lose 10 pounds the first month, they're probably right. But you gotta remember that's water coming out of your body. But that doesn't mean you're gonna lose 10 pounds every other month. Uh, the, the first weight that you lose is going to be the easiest because you're motivated. You're doing a lot of the things that they ask you to do. Uh, not everybody that we see uh, for weight loss are there on a continual basis. Maybe we'll give, get them started for three or four months, get them motivated, get them off and going, and then we might not see them again for another three or four months. 
because they, they kind of know what to do, but then they'll come back again and get uh, reestablished and we'll, we'll see half their weight has actually come down. We keep a graft of it, or keep a record rather of it. If we can get their blood pressure uh, of 120 over 80 or better, then we know that we can in increase their life expectancy from that person that has higher blood pressure by a minimum of about 12 years. If we're increasing their life expectancy, we're going to improve the quality of their life too. That means they're not going to be making as many doctor visits for this or that or the arthritis or, or, or the, the aches and pains. And they're not going to have as many hospital visits. Dr. Charles Brittenall, our guest this morning. And uh, for more information, they can call 256-249-0358 and make an appointment, whether it's allergies or weight loss or both, or maybe you just want to get to feeling better in 2017. Just come down and meet us. Let us, let us get them started for the new year. All right. Sounds good. Dr. Charles Brittenall, our guest this morning. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Always a pleasure, sir. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. More Daybreak just ahead as we continue on this second day of January 2017.